Steve. That guy, God's gift to man. Steve? He's got this smile to him that never goes away no matter what situation that you're in. He thinks he's so awesome. Steve maybe you want to quit comedy. I need to have a serious conversation with you. It just pops that smile back in. <laughs> and it, it goes nowhere. Okay, Steve and his character Jasmo. What do I remember about Steve? Um, he was he was such a nice guy. Sometimes there's blood coming out of my ears because it hurts so bad to hear that awful, awful voice. Hey, General! I feel like when I'm in his presence, I need to wear one of those bee helmets, you know, with the little nets. When Steve looks at me, it's never in the eye. He scares everybody else. You're just too much. You are just too much. I need a wall of protection. That kind of talent and that kind of, you know, comedic skill is going to be missed. I mean, it's, it's such a loss. Wait, wait, you, you do understand that he's not dead, right? He's not, he's not dead? No. Wait, I was, I was told that this was a memorial. That's the only, that's the only reason I did this. What the hell am I doing here? Aaron? 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 <laughs> Aaron. 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 So mean. Probably the worst host Zach ever could have had. Aaron falls down. Uh, has the energy of of a hyena in heat. And the chairs are everywhere. Every time I look at him, there's a chair on the floor. And he's just like, whoops. I don't really know Aaron. I mean uh... I don't I don't think I've ever ever met him. We don't know each other well. All he'll do is offend you. Once he says something about my mother, I don't remember what it was because I was too busy crying. It's and I'm hoping it stays that way. Drives everyone crazy. People bring guns just in case they get too crazy. He's always bouncing off the walls and destroying public property. Aaron's obsessed with Dungeons and Dragons. But he calls it Munchkin or something. Grayson! It's as if you're not from this planet. And on the other hand, Grayson is very quiet. Grayson's really skinny. Well, let me just start by saying, Grayson, that guy pisses me off. I feel somewhere along the line you, you may have had an ancestor that was E.T. I can't even say anything about Grayson. That's how bad he is. It's just, it seems like every time I try to talk to him, he's offensive. Grayson and I ordered the same breakfast at Denny's. I think it was the uh, Big Breakfast Slammer or something. He's got something nasty to say about little children. First time I met Grayson, he was in this pink shirt. And he walked up to me and, and he gave me this blank-eyed stare. Maybe you had a great-grandfather that was a unicorn. Stands off to the side and just throws lines out there, distracting from everyone else googly-eyed stare just kept staring at me. He's got a serious staring problem. It's not going to go away with any kind of time that you put in front of him. So if you could have one word to describe uh, Steve, Grayson, and Aaron, what would it be? Well, whore. Whore. Steve. Whore. Whores. 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 Grayson. A whore. All three of them? Yes. A whore. Aaron? Whore. All jokes aside, um, you three are really great guys. I'm definitely gonna miss all three of you. I'm gonna miss you guys. We'll miss you lots. Well, my favorite memory of Steve would have to be um, his character, Kustin, which is based off of. Um, a character, well, not a character, a real life person named Yostain. And Kustin um, falls down all the time and he grabs everything that he can get his hands on, like a glass of water. He'll put his hand in the glass of water and bring it down with him, or a, a plate of food, or anything really. And uh, he laughs like this ha ha! Ha ha! <laughs> but it's much better when Steve does it. What I love about Steve is that he lets me hug him for as long as I want. And he doesn't try to run away like other people. It's good.
deal with it. Yeah. I really learned a lot from Steve. He's probably made me a better improviser. Steve, I gotta tell you, you gave me the horse every time. And if I haven't laughed as hard at that moment, or any moment that you've said something equally funny, I've never laughed so hard. But I gotta say, Steve, you really just gotten me to just enjoy improv so much over this past year. Steve, you've definitely always been there for me, and I'm definitely going to miss having you around at practice just to be an idiot around. I'm good ol' Aaron, always just getting the crowd excited. My favorite thing about Aaron is that he wore a different shirt to every show. I was very impressed, and it was always fun to guess what shirt he was going to wear. I think, I think because because of you just even mentioning them at the show, even though we're making fun of them. They're gonna get another viewer or two. Aaron, I actually lied about. I do like when he knocks down chairs. And Aaron, that one time kicked over trash can, has taught me to never kick over trash cans. Thank you. And Aaron, I am going to see you around because you'll be ruining my life with that stupid game of munchkin. I appreciate that, in all honesty. Grayson, you, you are hilarious. Grayson, just want to say that you've been a huge inspiration to me and probably to anyone who's ever seen you improvise. Thanks a lot for that. We're going to miss you. Grayson, I've learned a lot by just watching him improvise. My favorite memory of Grayson was when we did the um, Great Wall of China scene in scripts recently. Uh, I just had a really fun time doing that scene. It was kind of spastic and random and what I liked about it, and Grayson's a good support to have on stage. And I've definitely gotten a kick out of calling you my twinsies. Grayson is the most enjoyable person to watch play football. I remember I was looking out of my window from my dorm, and he was playing football, and he's such a cute runner, and so that was Oh, oh gosh, I remember the first time I met Grayson. I was like, hey, he's got a really cool haircut. And then he cut it off one day, and I almost didn't recognize him. So, uh, good luck to all three of you guys. You guys made me want to go into improv. Um, but I'm very excited for you in this next part of your career. Wish you the best. I be happier for the great opportunity you're about to embark on. From one artist to another, I can wish you nothing but success for the future to enliven hearts and make people smile throughout your careers. Thank you for the opportunity to bring me into such a, a prosperous, funny, amazing organization. And I, I can only hope that you will find success in life. We'll miss you guys.